What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. And we're going to be talking about that bad boy right there today. That is the new barrel from Polymer 80 for the P320 in the full size or the compact. <laughs> Now, if you are new here to the channel, you can check out everything I have done on SIGs down below. Wasn't always a big fan, haven't always been a big fan, but the 320 specifically in the X series really did catch my attention. Now, when it comes to the growth and the popularity of building on the SIG P320 platform between the different grip modules, the different companies, I've done reviews on the Polymer 80 stuff like this grip right here, or the Wilson Combat grip. I got a video on that and several other things to include, obviously, that aftermarket slide that you see from Live Free Armory here on this specific full size frame. Now, it's also just been further put into the favorite of the builders because now we've got that bad boy right there. So the full P320 fire control unit custom works from SIG directly. And we'll do more on this thing in another video. Well, no more talking about it. Let's go ahead and be about it. We're gonna get right into the specs on this barrel and take a good up close look at it. If you were here for the first time, consider subscribing to the channel, turning those bell notification icons on. And if you've been around a while, double check that stuff. There's been some weird things going on recently. Give that video a like if you are into any things and I will leave links for this stuff down below. So I think these barrels just went on pre-order. We're gonna go ahead and get into these things right now. All right, let's go ahead and knock out this P80 barrel right here for the SIG P320. So they do have this in two versions right now. It is going to be for the compact and for the full size that I have right here. Let's go ahead and break this down and we'll take a good look at what the wear is looking like here. I've got a few hundred rounds for this. You probably saw this when I was testing this Live Free Armory SIG slide right here which uh, is actually a pretty cool looking slide with all the windows and the beak up there and the ports. Solid looking setup. And then of course, I think it was on, it's probably on this frame right here, uh, which I might actually be changing up to play with that bad boy. So I just got that SIG custom shot fire control unit and I was thinking maybe going full gold member and peanut butter on it. You guys let me know down in the comments below. So checking out this uh, barrel right here. You can see it is wearing pretty much as you would expect for an aftermarket barrel in stainless steel. You can see across the hood right there, you've got a decent amount of wear and then straight down the barrel right here. I know that's kind of tough to see sometimes with the glare of the light, but you can see the typical standard kind of smiley face wear that is very, very common with just about any barrel out there. As far as any issues with it, I have not had any. Uh, the lugs, everything is doing just fine. You can see the feed ramp and all that stuff. No gouges, nothing tearing in there from the guide rod, the recoil assembly, uh, nothing from the slide at all. And this barrel is, of course, tolerance quite a bit better than the factory one. So it is a match grade barrel. Uh, as far as the materials go on this thing, it is 17.4 uh, stainless steel. It is broach rifling in there, one and 16 right hand twist, and it's all parts are sourced uh, locally in the US. I think they actually source it out of Nevada where they are. So good solid stuff right there. So the reason these barrels are probably gonna get really popular because they're actually, I think they're still on pre-sale. They haven't even come all the way out yet is because companies are starting to produce more slides like this to include the SIG Custom Shop. And then of course the custom fire control units. I'm gonna do a total video on this thing because I don't know if it was really worth it to go for the custom unit or to just buy another full SIG setup. So we'll get into more of that later, but definitely a solid barrel if you are building from the ground up. Uh, they do have it in a clear PVD coating. So if you don't know what the PVD coating does, it's kind of a dry lubricity property having coating. Uh, looks pretty good, it's solid stuff and it will help protect that barrel of course well we're gonna go ahead and check out some of that range footage talk about this barrel a little bit more and of course talk about the price point on this because generally sig parts are a little bit more expensive than most others those are just good specs when it comes to overall barrel quality and material 
When it comes to aftermarket barrels, they always talk about accuracy and all that stuff. I've never really noticed a difference in accuracy from a factory barrel to an aftermarket barrel when it comes to the pistol world. Some people say they have. For me, I just say if you like it, buy it. If you're building something from the ground up, definitely something to look into. Let's talk about some of that range footage now. While they're on the range, this performed exactly as I would expect it to. I had no issues except for one when I first took it out to do some testing. Had nothing to do with the barrel. What it actually had to do with was the parts kits in that frame from that company right there. So Grey Ghost had sent out a bunch of parts kits that didn't have the striker return spring in them. So I'll roll in a section of video because if you are having this issue and you've built a custom slide and you've used that parts kit, you might have something that looks a little bit like this. Failure to go into battery multiple times. Oh shit, look at that. Striker, caught on the back of the round. Hmm. You see it? I don't know if I can get that on the video. Let me get the... Uh... The striker is stuck on the back of the fresh casing. So the striker, the striker's getting stuck in the breech face. Well, luckily for me that day, I've got a couple of these. So I actually just swapped out the parts kits in it. And then I kind of narrowed down to figure out what the actual problem was. Didn't have anything to do with the barrel because once I got those parts changed in there, went out there and ran that thing time and time again without issue. But just so you know, if you did buy that kit and you are having those casings get stuck on the striker because it's not retreating through the breech face all the way, that is probably going to be the culprit. Well, it looks good. It works good out there on the range. So let's talk about price. So as of right now, filming this video in like late April, 2021, these just went on pre-order, I think on Brown L's and maybe Optics Planet. So. I'll try to leave links for that stuff down below for you guys, but they are on pre-order right now and they're probably going to sell out very, very fast, especially since SIG has released that custom fire control unit. And now everybody's going to be buying up all the small parts. So as of today, filming this video, that was listed for pre-order at 145. Now I have no idea if that price is going to stay that way. It may just be the pre-order thing, but that's actually a really solid price for a barrel for a SIG. As one of my old bosses used to say, SIG makes a great $500 gun for 800 bucks. SIG is not known for being the most economically priced pistol setup out there. They're generally a little bit more expensive for just whatever reason you can take a stab at, figure it out, or just kind of, I guess, give yourself some of that confirmation bias. Me, I don't have a problem with that. I really do enjoy the SIG X series. So I am willing to pay a little bit more just because I kind of like the thing and I guess that's my own confirmation bias coming out. But if you dig it and you like it and you want it, you're just gonna pay the price. But just in general, that's actually really solid. 145 bucks for a nice solid aftermarket barrel. You look at several others out there for the Glock market, they are well over that. Some of them, especially for the CZs, get over the $300 mark. And I'm really curious to know if any of you have tried out that custom fire control unit right there. I'm gonna be doing a full video on this thing coming very soon with some other little custom doodads. As far as that, just say dude, as I said, dude, as custom other things for the SIG P320, just kind of testing it out as I do that fresh build. I will probably end up using a different frame on that one. If you haven't seen the stuff I've done as far as like the Wilson Combat Grip or the Polymer 80 grips or stuff, I'll leave those links down below. And of course, if you are interested in anything that you see on this bad boy right here, especially that Apex Bang Switch right there, I'll leave links for those videos down below as well. It's just in the SIG playlist. As far as the parts on this, I'll leave those links down below for you to check out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video because that's all I've got for you today. You guys get out there, have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. And I will see you guys on the next one.